The Thompson Line is expected to bring an extra 60% capacity along the North-South Corridor as it runs largely parallel to the existing North-South Line. Transport Minister Louis Tuck Yu said this at a groundbreaking ceremony of the Thompson Line. Mr Louis said the Thompson Line will strengthen the overall resilience of the rail network. It will also serve several housing estates and residential areas in the north and central parts of Singapore and connect them to the city and the rest of the MRT network. Construction of sections of the Thompson Line will be an intricate affair involving some engineering finesse as they will need to build around existing train lines underground. From a quiet terminus of the North-South Line, Marina Bay MRT station has since transformed when its Circle Line station opened two years ago. When the Thompson Line opens in 2021, Marina Bay will become a major interchange serving three lines. But construction at one section will pose a challenge as it needs to cross the existing two MRT lines. Thompson Line will be built below these lines, which means some foundation piles would need to be removed. First, a pedestrian linkway will be built beneath the tunnel. Once sufficient support has been added, about 20 piles in that 40-metre stretch will be removed. Freeze tubes will then be added, a first in the history of Singapore's rail construction. To alleviate this problem of soil conditions, we are going to do this ground freezing, which technically is to freeze the ground, to, to turn the groundwater into ice, to form ice wall, so that facilitate construction, this, to solidify the ground and to uh, facilitate the construction of the tunnel. This will prevent water from seeping in and weakening the soil. Construction will then start for the first tunnel, which will be used by the Woodlands-bound train. Finally, the tunnel for the Changi-bound train. When completed, the tunnels will be 41 metres below ground surface. Over at Orchard Road, the already bustling station will also be an interchange of the Thompson Line. The new station will be built on a green patch opposite Ion Orchard. There will be two links, a platform linkway for commuters who need to change trains and an underpass for other pedestrians. During construction, the glass canopy at Ion Orchard will be dismantled. Some piles of the existing station will also be cut. The key challenge will really be to avoid any forms of disruption to the existing north-south line operations as we remove the earth and uh, create this connection under it. So firstly, um, we will have put together and studied all the relevant details and information of the existing structures. Construction works for the underpass will start next year. And during this time, some traffic on the five-lane Orchard Boulevard will be diverted.